All right, today's call is going to be a warm box. Uh, it's a walk-in refrigerator, so we're on our way there. Uh, I'm going to try to film as much as I can. It's going to be noisy, so I'm probably going to have to voice over um, as much as I can. So sorry about the quality, guys. I'm getting new camera soon, so it'll be better. Loading. High pressure control was clicking on and off. You can see it with the fan there. Um, and if you look closer, you can see a bunch of oil residue, which... Um, you know, we thought there was a leak right away because there's bubbles in the sight glass, and then you see that upon inspection. Um, so right there, um, looked like oil to us, so we got the bubbles out, couldn't find anything, even got the wine, so we didn't pick nothing up. And it's pretty warm in that box right now, so the TXV is wide open. Um, so we went and got the gauges, uh, threw the gauges on, and uh, looked at the pressures. Now my gauges are set to 134A, this is an R22 system. So with the low side actually looked pretty good. I was running about a uh, 20 degree of app um, if you convert the uh, numbers to R22. Um, so the high side was high like we assumed because of the uh, condenser was actually pretty dirty. We wiped that off and then later on we got um, the foam spray um, and we started cleaning all that off. So once we start doing that, um, pressure, the high head start going down. Uh, we only do half when the unit's running, just do half of the uh, condenser so you still got air flow through the um, right or left side, whatever side you're not spraying. Um, otherwise, you can damage the uh, fan because then you're clogging the whole thing. Um, so then we went even further and we started cleaning the freezer condenser that was down below there. That was pretty bad too. Um, so we stayed there for about two hours and the uh, walk-in core um, shut off at 38 degrees, so uh, once we got everything cleaned up, um, everything worked out pretty good. So um, it was just basically uh, dirty condensers. Uh, it happens, it's in a small room, and that room is about 80 degrees. So, I mean, our liquid should be 110 degrees. Um, so it was pretty hot, and it did come down um, afterwards, after we cleaned everything, and um, even the freezer. Um, dropped about five degrees 